And here's the big breaking news. David Hogg has backed down. He says he will never debate an evil, horrible person like me. And uh, we'll talk about that coming up after we finish getting into this because I, I just had it in my stack and now I can't, now I can't find it. Uh, but they just, oh, it's on screen. I will not speak to anyone that has had disgusting remarks to victims of mass shootings in the past. I sent that tweet without realizing just how awful so many people have been to the victims and witnesses of these events in the past. And man, you can see his tweets. They sound like a, you know, like about like a 10 year old Roman. And then, then there's these tweets on his Twitter that you know. And my, I'm allowed to say, do not sound like the same person. There's multiple people on that Twitter account, or I'm a blue-butted baboon. Uh, so uh, they are in panic mode. They thought they'd go on there and call me a piece of piece of crap and fat and ugly and a shyster and a sink old salesman. And about 10 seconds into reading the tweets this morning, I went, he's baiting me to blow up at him because I haven't really bullied him yet. And they want to, so they're now they're panicking. Hey, there's no videos of Jones bullying anybody. So we're going to have to get him baited into it. And now the... Uh, this, Phil Mudd, is that you? Uh, over there, this just blew up in your dumb face. All right, Dr. Steve Pachanik, psychological warfare expert, best-selling author there is our guest, stevepachanik.com. Just, just briefly get into psychological warfare in the media. The mainstream media, this big globalist combine, they now operate to ban people, to attack people, to run dirty tricks. And they're getting worse, and now they've gotten basically almost every level of the mainstream media to be deceptive, where they'll put out a main line from, from C CNN last week saying that I said no kids died and it was a false flag. We were still investigating. I did say there was a stand down, which was confirmed. We just talked to a bunch of students. It was on local news. It wasn't hard. That's why we keep getting confirmed. It was already all over the news. We got a bunch of teachers and kids saying the same thing, that they all just sat out there for 10 minutes with a bunch of cars and... I, I went with it, and that's the videos they really banned. So CNN comes out and says in three articles, we're banning him, we're talking to YouTube, we're in his account, it'll be gone soon, first strike, we'll have second strike by this weekend, he'll be gone. That's now started. Then Drudge picks it up, we get 7 million plus views on the banned videos, people see that it was the opposite of what they said, it was just eyewitnesses. So then they get a second strike today, they block the channel, so you can't go to it, can't upload. Then they remove the strike, but don't even say that our, our uh, appeal happened. They don't only tell you, okay, we accept your appeal. No, they just disappear it, and now the Washington Post and everybody's calling up saying, did you really get strikes? No one ever struck you. That was never even a CNN article. No one's after you. Every, nothing ever happened. That's in the space of four days. I mean, talk about preying on your audience, but I'm not a psychiatrist or psych warfare expert. All I know is the average person gets cognitive dissonance and just kind of tunes out from the fog, the apocalypse of information. And, and that's what's so frustrating when you watch the anatomy of this and the different, I, don't, I haven't named the tactics, I can just see them all. And I like know the different ones, like little, little devils or something, you know, uh, you know, or bad smells, you know, and it's just like, oh, there's that one, oh, they're doing that. And, and then now I see them testing new tactics and. What hurts me, Dr. Pachanik, is to see such a mass of Americans and then other global groups willing to be so evil, willing to lie, and then recruiting high schoolers to be part of it. And here's the big breaking news. David Hogg has backed down. He says he will never debate an evil, horrible person like me. And uh, we'll talk about that coming up after we finish getting into this because I, I just had it in my stack and now I can't, now I can't find it. Uh, but they just... Oh, it's on screen. I will not speak to anyone that has had disgusting remarks to victims of mass shootings in the past. I sent that tweet without realizing just how awful so many people have been to the victims and witnesses of these events in the past. And man, you can see his tweets. They sound like a, you know, like about like a 10 year old Roman. And then, then there's these tweets on his Twitter that you know, and my, I'm allowed to say, do not sound like the same person. There's multiple people on that Twitter account, or I'm a blue butted baboon. Uh, so, uh, they are in panic mode. They thought they'd go on there and call me a piece of piece of crap and fat and ugly and a shyster and a sink old salesman. And about 10 seconds into reading the tweets this morning, I went, he's baiting me to blow up at him because I haven't really bullied him yet. And they want to, so they're now they're panicking. Hey, there's no videos of Jones bullying anybody. So we're going to have to get him baited into it. And now the, <laughs> this, Phil Mudd, is that you? Uh, over there, this just blew up in your dumb face. So uh, I'm not talking about David Hogg, who's a wonderful, sweet, good young man who I think is being used here. 
I'm talking about Phil Mudd of the CIA and uh, of Mueller's uh, behavior. Uh, that, uh, one of Mueller's flesh tags uh, that has been openly uh, trying to run these operations against us, little birdies told me. Uh, so, Dr. Pachinik, sorry I'm ranting. Please continue with the information apocalypse. Well, you're not ranting. What's happening is you are very much the victim or the point man for what's happening in the apocalypse information. I mean, when you look at CNN, what do you have? You have a feed individuals, one who in particular uh, worked in the CIA over the summer. I mean, Anderson Cooper, he's not relevant. He, he just isn't. Wolf Blitz are working in Israel, Mossad. I mean, he's not relevant. What's happening is in the world of attack and in, in, uh, propaganda, you should really be proud of the fact that you are so worthy of such a massive attack. It's like the onslaught of, of Russia, St. Petersburg, and you're that poor Russian who's defending against a huge onslaught of the Nazi soldiers. Well, what's happening is the real rise of fascism comes in through the apocalypse of information. So suppression, repression gets through things like distortion, denial. And these are the technical terms for a, a way of saying we manipulate the news, we manipulate the images, we manipulate the story, and the, and the focal point we know is going to be the rebuttal by Alex Jones. Now, why are you important to us? to those of us who do defend the republic. The reason is, for whatever reason, uh, rightfully or wrongfully, you have been there at the forefront. And because of your skills, and I'm not buttering you up, but the ability to riff, the way you can riff and tolerate the amount of onslaught that comes in is really quite remarkable. It's almost like you're the soldier of the apocalypse of information. There are very few stations that can tolerate this and very few who have become uh, attuned to it. Remember, this has taken over 17 years between you and me to build up something that you have built, and now you have an extension in Owen Schroyer. You have another, you know, night. I mean, you've really built up an amazing thing without the support of the government, without the support of, quote, individual foundations. Now, it's up to the other institutions, like the NRA. If the NRA feels that they've been, been maligned, then please, I invite them to sue Parkland, to sue Delta Airlines, to sue any credit card company they want. Nothing hurts the system as much as a lawsuit and the fact that lawsuits can be initiated very quickly. You don't have to be involved in that, but the NRA has enough money. Oh, they are saying they're not allowed to even have commerce. They're saying the NRA needs to be blocked in banks. Uh, they're saying kill members of the NRA and billboards. Uh, I mean, it's, it's true racketeering, the very classic uh, sense of it. And then the NRA, who I love to death, I don't even want to say any of the nice things they've done behind the scenes because I don't, I don't want to turn into a political firestorm for them. But the NRA and their board members and people are patriots, and more and more of them know exactly what's going on. But they, they're too slow moving where Ted Nugent will do 500 interviews by the time they create a new ad about who the NRA is that's running all over TV, radio, and the Internet. They should have a department where they, Dana Loesch, who's great, whoever daily is firing with bulletins with all that money they're spending. I could triple the amount of money bringing into the NRA. Right now, I don't even want them to hire me. I could, in fact, I'm going to meet with Ted Nugent this weekend. And he already knows what to do, but they don't even listen to him enough. We, we need to absolutely get them on a war footing to fight back and not be in this, you know, this passive stance. They need to get on the offense with the money and the platform they've got because they're trying to deplatform them everywhere. They're trying to have their shows banned off Hulu, Netflix, Twitter. They're trying to, you know, Soviet-level silencing. This All Americans should rally behind the NRA now and, and InfoWars and you and everybody. This is a real war. No, I agree with you. As I said, this is an informational war. This is an apocalypse of information. It's very clear. It's clear to my intelligence community. It's clear to many patriots within the intelligence community. The, however, we have to have a focal point. We just can't scatter the shooting across no, the No, I agree then. We need to get Trump to move against Google and these antitrust. We need to have a new We're civil rights act for the Internet because you have to have access to it. You can't be deplatformed. You can't have your ID taken like China does or you're made a ghost child. Uh, we, I mean, th this is the new electronic ghettos, like Drudge said. What else do we do then? I mean, I agree. Let's codify a plan. Because, and, we, and we need to launch it with the activist. 
Well, there has to be within the White House, and this is what I've said from day one. When Keith Alexander had taken over the National Security Agency decades ago, we need a cabinet position that is entitled Cyber Command, Cyber Control. We cannot have it just underneath the defense. Stay department. there, then. We got to go to break. Here's the issue. We already have these corporations. Oh, and I forgot. Guys, bring me the Apple articles out of, out of Reuters. I want to get your take on this. Apple basically moving to China and admittedly going under state control, not just in China, but worldwide. I mean, I I can't believe this is even being allowed to be done. I mean, at some high level, I think, oh, they're really patriots and it's a way to infiltrate the Chinese. But they say the Chinese are going to run their entire cloud system based in China with all the codes. Ladies and gentlemen, these mics are terrible. Alex Jones on lead guitar. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center and the heart of the resistance. It's Alex Jones. Introducing Icarin, a 30-day liver and kidney cleanse exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. We have set out with top researchers and developers to bring you the strongest, purest, most potent, documented system for your liver and your kidneys. There are two different formula blends in one powerful capsule. It also funds the InfoWar, a total 360 win. Icarin, available now at InfoWarsLife.com.